Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul, and uh, I have a question for you guys. Did you know that Zalman makes SSDs? You didn't? Well, now you do. Because here are five SSD offerings from Zalman. Uh, they have an N series over here. They also have an S series. These are available in uh, 32, 64, and 128 gig varieties for the S series, and 64 and 128 for the uh, N series. I'm going to be going over a few benchmarks that we were able to run on these drives as well as what the difference is between the N-Series and the S-Series. So starting off with the S-Series here, we can see I've uh, unboxed the 128 gig version. You do get one extra item in the box, which is sort of unique for SSDs and very handy. You do get a little uh, small installation guide there, and they have included a USB cable. And the reason they've included a USB cable is because these S-Series SSDs use the J-Micron JM616 uh, controller and the JM, I'm sorry, JMF616 and the JMF616 controller has a USB 2.0 uh, capability which is built in right there. So apart from your serial ATA ports that you can see, uh, power and data here on this side, over on this side there is a mini USB port. You can simply plug in the mini USB cable here route that over to your computer. Uh, you have an additional USB plug in case the plug that you plug into doesn't have enough uh, voltage to power the drive. And then you can pretty much have it recognized as an external hard drive. Um, because these have the USB capability, they come pre-formatted in FAT32 so that they can be recognized across multiple hard drives. If you are installing this to your system, I would recommend switching over to the NTFS file system. Um, but it does, having that USB port does make it incredibly easy to migrate from an old computer. You can simply use some drive imaging software to copy your existing um, Windows installation or other operating system installation over onto the drive, and it does make the migration process a lot more painless to have that simple USB plug right there on the bottom. Uh, apart from that, for these drives, they're pretty basic 2.5 inch SSD drives. They have a black brushed metal finish. Uh, again, 128 gig variety that you see here. There's also the 32 and 64 uh, gigabyte varieties available. And that pretty much wraps it up for the S series. Again, the primary difference here between the uh, S series and the N series over here on my right is the controller that is inside. And uh, the controller made by J-Micron for the S series uh, as compared to our N series over here, which is using a Sandforce controller. This, is use, this uses the SF1222 controller, and uh, that is uh, pretty much faster. Um, the stated read and write speeds for the N series are read speeds up to 280 megabytes per second, writes up to 270 megabytes per second. As compared to the S series, which has a listed 210 megabytes per second write speed and 260 megabytes per second read speed. Now those are uh, ideal speeds that they're listing. That's pretty much the maximum that these drives can do. Uh, you'll see in just a few moments our benchmark numbers, it didn't quite hit up to that, but there's a nice comparison across uh, for all these drives. Um, now the, uh, the Sandforce controlled drives here, as you can see on the bottom, they do not include that USB uh, plug. So you, it is a bit of a trade-off. You get additional speed if you go with the N series, but you get a little bit more convenience with the S series um, having that USB port. Other than that, the drives are virtually identical. These all use MLC NAND flash memory. Um, they're all very fast as compared to uh, mechanical drives in particular. And uh, they are all plug and play. Every single one of these drives, I plugged them in, they already came pre-formatted. Uh, they worked right out of the box and I was able to go ahead and run some benchmarks. So let's move on to that and go over our benchmarking numbers. So taking a look at the numbers that you can see here, we are running AS SSD, which is an SSD specific benchmarking utility for um, monitoring SSD storage uh, benchmarks. Uh, as you can see, we're listing off the sequential reads and writes, 4K reads and writes, and we've also listed off the access times as well as the overall score provided by AS SSD. If you look at the score uh, listed down there on the bottom, you'll see a pretty standard progression that you would expect here. Um, the S series getting marginally faster as you move up from 32 to 64 to 128 gigs. N series in particular performing very well, uh, has a very high score. That's due to that Sandforce controller. Um, and you can see that the total score is significantly higher for those. Now, if you go up and look at the sequential reads, you might be a little bit confused because it's not quite lining up with uh, what is stated, but I would actually direct your attention to the 4K reads 
The numbers there aren't quite as impressive, but 4K reads and writes are a lot more typical of what you will be encountering in uh, your standard computing activities. Data on the drives is stored in 4K sectors. So what your drive is usually doing with typical activity is it's going, it's accessing a 4K sector, it's pulling that data off. So your 4K reads and writes are a very good example of the actual speed boost and performance increase that you'll see. So here you can see, again, a pretty standard progression moving up from the S series. Um, you're getting about 18 megabytes per second across all of those for reads. And then it jumps up to 20, 21 uh, for the N series. And then uh, write performance in particular is where the Sandforce controller stands out. Uh, you can see 60 and 66 megabytes per second uh, 4K writes uh, for the N series as compared to 6, 15, and 31 respectively for the 32, 64, and 128 gig versions of the uh, S series. Um, and then again, access time is where you will see a massive, massive imp improvement um, of SSDs as compared to mechanical drives. There are no moving parts, so you don't have to wait for any seek time for the actual uh, drive heads to move over to the uh, sectors of data that it needs. So access times are all between one and three milliseconds, which is really, really fast and almost negligible as far as the difference between those goes. And that pretty much wraps up our unboxing and overview of this five drive series from uh, Zalman, the N series and the S series of SSDs, all available on Newegg.com. Thank you very much for watching today's video, everyone, and we will see you next time on Newegg TV.